Hello everyone, um, this is day three of our T-Rex training program for levels one and two, so welcome back. Um, we're going to get right into it. I hope you guys are putting your stickers on that card stack we, we sent out to you guys for days one and two, and we're moving on to day three. Um, you guys are doing awesome. We're going to keep progressing the skills that we have learned earlier and continue to learn new ones, so here we go. All right. So today, uh, same equipment as last time if you have water toys, if you're in the water. Otherwise, if you have a kickboard or anything like that, we're going to be talking about that again. That was another firework. Um, all right, so our safety topic today is recognizing an emergency. So as always, I'll have you pause this and discuss with whoever you're with about what this means. Like, who do we, who do we call if we have an emergency? Who do we look to if we have an emergency as well? All right. So after talking about this, you should know that um, lifeguards. So we usually go to the lifeguards if there's an emergency, or we call 911 if it's a very serious emergency. Um, so usually, to avoid an emergency, we we should know how, the way to get out. The know know way how to get out of your house if there's an emergency. Know a way to get how to get out of the pool, how to get out of the lake, and move away from the emergency. You should also know how deep the water is. So if there's an emergency or a situation where you it is too deep where you can't swim. So always know the depth of the pool and where you're jumping in. Make sure there aren't any sharp objects around you or anything like that. Um, just to keep safe from the water. All right, so we're gonna be starting with our review skills. As with these, I will list them and you guys can go through them um, with whoever you're with, dry land or in water. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, you need to practice entering the water safely. I want you to practice wading in, whether it is just walking on dry land or actually wading into a body of water. Also the stepping in method or using a ladder. And after that, I want you to blow bubbles. So I want you to blow bubbles five times and then do three bobs. That is our warm up for today. So why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and do that. All right, so after doing that, um, so we're going to progress some of our, our things. So we're going to first get a submerged object. So what I said yesterday is putting something at the bottom of a, a tub, a bucket of water, and really putting our faces in. So we're going to practice opening our eyes today. So we don't want to use goggles for this one. We really want to practice opening our eyes and looking down to see. And for doing this, we can say, what color is the object we're looking for and we have to look down and open our eyes in the water to see what color it is it may be a little blurry at first but you should be able to make out the color of the object all right so now what we're doing is we're going to do practice our front and back glide this can be also done on a little like, scooter or an object as well as in the water so remember our arms for the back glide are going to be like this and we're going to push off into our back glide Remember, our head is back, shoulders are back, chest is out, and our legs, make sure, so, so, so our legs don't sink, we're really pushing our hips up and out of the water. And for our front glide, our face is down in the water, we have those same starfish arms, pancaked on top of each other, and really squeezing our ears. Squeeze the ears, push up the wall, and make sure you're floating. The front glide is a little bit easier than the back glide to get. So make sure with each of these, you would do about two body lengths so two body lengths push out whenever you're at the next time you're at a beach or a lake remember to try this at the beach or lake with a parent or brother or sister whoever you go with that can be really helpful as well all right so now using our kickboards or any um anything you have to practice we're gonna do our alternating arm and leg movements on our front all right so we're putting our arms out like we did last time and practicing those that front crawl arms front crawl arms when we actually do the front crawl our, our, our head is going to be down and our arms are squeezing up like this and for now we're not talking about breathing but when we breathe it's going to be called rotary breathing where you're going to breathe to the side your arm comes out at and put your arm down like that and as always our kick is our flutter kick so I want us to practice that on the ground or in water. Um, and then moving on to our back crawl. This is our new skill for today. So with our back crawl, our arms, remember when we were taught by sun, they come back around our head and then your arm flips to the back. This gets pushes water out of the way. You're pushing water out of the way. Same way our legs do with our front crawl, they do with our back crawl, kick, 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 kick. It's the same sort of movement for both. So this is very easy to remember. So you guys can practice doing this on the ground or in the water. That is perfectly fine. 
Okay, so our other new skills today are learning our other some of our other strokes. So have you ever heard of breaststroke? This is called simultaneous arm and leg movements. That means that our legs and arms are moving at the same time, not two separate strokes. So with the breaststroke, we want to start in the middle, and this is how the arms look. We go out, push the water out, and back in. Go out, push the water out, and back in. And I want you to practice this on dry land before we even do this in water because this is a harder stroke. The breathing with this is you're going underwater, pushing and coming back up. And our legs are also doing a frog kick. So our legs are coming out and back in just like a frog would do. So this, they're both the arm and leg movements are simultaneous and we can learn to practice this as well. And okay, on our back, it's called, so some of your chicken, plain, so we're going up, out, and down. Up, out, and down. This is our backstroke. And your legs do the same thing. They go up, out, and down. They come up, out, and down. Okay, this is our backstroke. So if we have access to this, we can do this on the ground. It's really nice to practice this on the ground before we get into the water, just so we get the stroke down. So you go chicken, plain, bird, chicken, plain, bird. And your legs do the same thing. They go up, out, and down. All right, great job, guys. So the game I have um, for you guys to play, if you want, with whoever you're with is sharks and minnows, practicing one of these new strokes we learned today. So either try that breast stroke, or if you're on dry land, try maybe that front crawl on, on, the, on the ground. Um, so you thank you guys for listening today. We're gonna continue to develop these skills into our fourth video, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please comment if you have any concerns, um, suggestions, comments, anything like that. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of your night.